Thank you, Rebecca. This local sheriff could spend more than 90 years behind bars. That's if he's convicted on a 13 count indictment that alleges conspiracy, fraud, bribery and misuse of authority. Sheriff Robert Arnold appeared in federal court today for his role in the jail SIGS scandal. It also runs a company that provides electronic cigarettes to inmates. The sheriff, along with Chief, Je uh, Chief Deputy Joe Russell and John Vanderveer, are facing charges. Today we learned that Sheriff Arnold had deposited a check in the bank just a day before telling News Channel 5 that he did not profit from the deal. Local activists say the indictments will hopefully restore trust in local government. We hope this is going to be the first step to restoring uh, the dignity and pride of that sheriff's department. So what happens next? Sheriff Arnold has told News Channel 5 he's done nothing wrong and plans to fight these charges. Our political analyst Pat Nolan says it doesn't appear Arnold will step down. Unless he for some reason decides he's going he's to resign, he will still be in that position and hold that title until he decides otherwise or the courts decide otherwise. Nolan says Arnold still has two years left on his term. If he steps down, the Rutherford County Commission would name his temporary replacement until an election is held. However, the deadline has passed for potential candidates to file for that primary election in August. It's unclear if the rules would change due to these circumstances. Nolan says the situation certainly creates some distractions. I think it's particularly difficult. It's always difficult for any elected official when they're in one of these situations. And usually there are calls for them to go ahead and step down, even though the legal proceedings are not done. I think it's even more difficult in this case for the sheriff because he's the chief law enforcement officer in that county, and that puts him in a slightly more delicate situation. Be sure to stay with News Channel 5 for continuing coverage of the investigation into Sheriff Arnold. And remember to follow us on Twitter at NC5 and Facebook at Facebook.com slash News Channel 5.